4,400 newtons. That's the bite force of Dunkleosteus at its jaw tip. To put that into perspective, it's more than twice the bite force of a lion. Dunkleosteus ruled the seas 100 million years before most creatures even had jaws. How did this armored fish develop such incredible power? And what led to its ultimate downfall? In the next few minutes, we'll explore the Devonian seas to uncover the evolutionary forces that shaped one of the most formidable predators in Earth's history. Imagine a world where the oceans teemed with life, but vastly different from today. This was the Devonian period, 419 to 359 million years ago. The seas were filled with creatures that might seem alien to our modern eyes. Fish without jaws, armored bottom dwellers and unique reef ecosystems. In these ancient waters, early fish faced a daily struggle for survival. Without jaws, their feeding options were limited. Many relied on suction feeding or were filter feeders, straining tiny organisms from the water. Predators were few, and those that did exist relied on specialized adaptations to catch their prey. The diversity of marine life during this time was remarkable. Plycoderms, an extinct class of armored fish, patrolled the waters. Acanthodians, often called spiny sharks, despite not being true sharks, swam alongside them. These small, streamlined fish had multiple pairs of fins supported by spines, a feature not seen in modern fish. The seafloor was home to a variety of invertebrates. Trilobites, ancient arthropods with hard exoskeletons, scuttled across the bottom. They shared this space with crinoids, filter-feeding echinoderms, that looked more like plants than animals, their feather-like arms waving in the currents to catch food particles. The Devonian seas were warmer and had higher oxygen levels than our modern oceans. This created ideal conditions for the explosion of reef ecosystems, providing shelter and hunting grounds for a multitude of marine species. As competition for resources intensified in this diverse marine world, the stage was set for a major evolutionary leap. The development of jaws would soon transform the underwater landscape, giving rise to a new class of predators. This adaptation allowed fish to actively bite and chew their food, opening up new feeding strategies and ecological niches. The arrival of jawed fish marked a turning point in marine evolution. Predators could now grasp and tear apart their prey, leading to an evolutionary arms race. This pressure drove rapid changes in body shapes sizes and defensive mechanisms. As we move forward in time, we'll see how this adaptation set the stage for the rise of formidable hunters. The once peaceful Devonian seas were about to become the backdrop for an intense evolutionary battle, culminating in the emergence of one of the most powerful predators the oceans had ever seen. What if your entire head was encased in bone? This adaptation was a reality in the Devonian seas representing a significant step in the evolutionary arms race. As jawed fish became dominant, nature developed an even more extreme innovation that redefined apex predators. The placoderms, a diverse group of armored fishes, emerged during the Devonian period. These creatures displayed an impressive range of morphological variations, especially in their feeding systems. Their heavy armor provided formidable protection, but their anatomical innovations extended beyond defense. Advanced placoderms like Dunkleosteus developed skull configurations that significantly enhanced their predatory capabilities. The skull structure allowed for rapid jaw movement and powerful bite force, giving these creatures a distinct advantage in their aquatic environment. This evolutionary progression drove the development of increasingly sophisticated adaptations in both predators and prey. The resulting ecosystem was filled with creatures uniquely adapted to their specific niches, each pushing the boundaries of survival and predation. The biomechanics of these early jawed fish were remarkable. Dunkleosteus, for example, could open its jaws fully in as little as 20 milliseconds, a speed comparable to modern suction feeding fish. This rapid movement, combined with powerful muscles and unique bladed dentition, allowed it to exert extremely high bite stress capable of puncturing even the hardest prey. As the Devonian period progressed, the arthrodires emerged as the ultimate expression of placoderm evolution. These heavily armored fish with powerful jaws, 
set the stage for more advanced jawed vertebrates. Among them, Dunkleosteus stood out as the pinnacle predator. Dunkleosteus represented millions of years of evolutionary refinement. Its skull mechanism, armored body, and bladed jaw plates made it one of the first true apex predators in the vertebrate fossil record. With a bite force rivaling modern top predators, it could consume virtually any species in its environment. Recent studies have revised our understanding of Dunkleosteus's appearance. It was likely shorter than previously thought, around 13.5 feet in length, and built more like a stocky tuna than a sleek shark. This compact, powerful form, combined with its advanced feeding mechanics, positioned Dunkleosteus at the top of the Devonian food chain. As we examine the specific adaptations that made Dunkleosteus such a formidable hunter, we'll uncover how this armored titan dominated the ancient seas and explore its lasting impact on marine evolution. In the Devonian seas, Dunkleosteus emerged as a predator with a jaw structure unlike anything seen before or since. Instead of teeth, this fearsome hunter had a set of bony plates, forming razor-sharp blades along its jaws. These plates were part of a sophisticated four-bar linkage mechanism that allowed for incredibly rapid jaw movement. The speed of Dunkleosteus's bite was truly remarkable. It could open its jaws from a closed position to full gape in as little as 20 milliseconds, faster than a camera flash. The entire feeding cycle, from opening to closing, took just 50-60 milliseconds. This rapid strike gave Dunkleosteus a significant advantage over its prey allowing it to catch even the quickest and most agile creatures in the Devonian seas. The bladed structure of its jaws allowed Dunkleosteus to concentrate its bite force into a small area, resulting in extremely high local bite stress. This focused force enabled it to puncture and fragment even the hardest materials, such as the dermal bone and tough cuticles that protected many of its prey species. Recent paleontological reconstructions have revised our understanding of Dunkleosteus's appearance. New research suggests that it likely resembled a stocky tuna more than a streamlined shark. This compact build may have contributed to its effectiveness as a predator, combining power with maneuverability. Dunkleosteus possessed a mouth twice as large as that of a great white shark. This oversized jaw, combined with its powerful bite and rapid strike, allowed it to consume virtually all other aquatic species in its environment from armored fish to early sharks. The power of Dunkleosteus's bite becomes even more impressive when compared to modern predators. With a bite force of 4,400 newtons at the tip of its jaw, Dunkleosteus outclassed many of today's top predators. This force was more than twice that of a lion and about half that of a Tyrannosaurus rex. Dunkleosteus's unique combination of features positioned it as one of the first true apex predators in the vertebrate fossil record. Its dominance in the Devonian seas would have had far-reaching effects on marine ecosystems, shaping the evolution of both predator and prey species for millions of years to come. While Dunkleosteus dominated the Devonian seas, environmental changes were brewing that would ultimately lead to its downfall. For millions of years, this 4.1-meter-long predator shaped marine ecosystems through its hunting habits, influencing the evolution of both predator and prey species. However, the late Devonian period brought significant environmental shifts. Sea levels and temperatures fluctuated, destabilizing the ecosystems that had supported Dunkleosteus. Its success as an apex predator may have contributed to overpredation, further disrupting the marine food web. Approximately 375 million years ago, a major extinction event occurred. Severe oxygen depletion in the oceans known as anoxic events, combined with climate changes to create conditions that many species, including Dunkleosteus, couldn't survive. Dunkleosteus's large size and specialized adaptations, once advantageous, now hindered its ability to adapt quickly. Its armored body and powerful jaws, which had made it a successful predator, limited its flexibility in the face of rapid environmental changes. The extinction of Dunkleosteus and other large placoderms was likely due to their inability to adapt swiftly, the emergence of new competitors, and their vulnerability as large, specialized predators. Their disappearance marked the end of an era in marine evolution. 
The fossil record of Dunkleosteus provides valuable insights into ancient ecosystems, evolution, and extinction processes. By studying the rise and fall of this marine predator, we gain a deeper understanding of nature's delicate balance and the profound impacts of environmental change. Dunkleosteus remains a significant figure in the study of marine evolution. This ancient predator influenced marine ecosystems for millions of years, driving adaptations in various species. Its existence represents an important stage in vertebrate evolution, contributing to the development of predatory innovations seen in later species. The fossils of Dunkleosteus continue to provide valuable insights into ancient marine life and vertebrate development. Paleontologists use these remains to better understand the ecological dynamics of Devonian seas and the evolutionary history of jawed vertebrates. Recent research has revised our understanding of Dunkleosteus's lifestyle, identifying it as a pelagic organism rather than a bottom dweller. The story of Dunkleosteus demonstrates that evolutionary success is not permanent. Even dominant species can face extinction when environmental conditions change dramatically. This pattern of adaptation, dominance, and eventual replacement is a fundamental aspect of life's ongoing story on our planet, highlighting the dynamic nature of evolution and the constant change in Earth's ecosystems.